Hello. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Studio Find or Indexer and how it behaves when the ROC extensions are loaded, so when ROC Audit Reports is licensed. Here we see the standard Studio interface, uh, Find interface, and we can see that there are new attributes in here. There's the ROC Traffic Lights, which is the same as the traffic light that you see in the ROC Audit Report. The criticality, the red, green, and blue. And you can see the messages, which are the outputs from the audit report. Plus you can see things like the uh, total well quality, CRS quality, GWLs, uh, last updated, etc. And there are a bunch of other attributes which we haven't added in here. They find these under what quality. And we could go in here and we could go in and add these in directly just by clicking on it. And it comes in like this. So the basic functionality, if we run through that, if we go back to the QC messages here and click on that, we see that here we have the outputs from the audit report. And instead of looking at everything, if we filter this down and go and have a look at maximum borehole measured depth and click on it, we see that over on the right hand side, we see all of the objects, in this case wells, that have that audited error. And down the bottom here, we see a count for it. A count that's rather high, considering there's only a thousand wells in this project. That count is rather high because the results here are not purely from this project. They're from all of these projects. So this is giving us an instant overview of the data quality for all of the data issues that are audited across every single project that you have audited or run an index on. So if you have all your user projects indexed, you would have all of your user projects listed in here with an overview of the data quality in them. The fun thing with this, of course, is that one, you can get to see what are the critical issues that you have everywhere, but you can also go in and see who is creating the issues. And you get the counts here and target remedial education at the people if they're consistently creating the same sort of data problems. Now, if we go back into our QC message here, oh, sorry, before I do that, let's go back to project and let's filter. I'm in Strat Test 2014 at the moment, so I'm going to filter to only this project. And here we see the count has dropped to the wells that are in this particular project that I'm connected to or have open at the moment. And if we go back to QC message here, we see all the numbers have changed to be relevant to the numbers that are in this selected project. Now, if I select one of the wells over here by clicking on it on the right hand side, we'll see that we get highlight in here in bold issues other than the targeted issue that we were going to clean up. And this is telling us that this well has the issue that we're targeted, but it also has missing operator, missing UE and uh, logs below TD. And if we click on these, we'll see that this is live and changes to what's relevant for the well that you've selected. So at any one time, even though you have a prioritized targeted cleanup, you can see what other issues you could clean up at the same time. And you see that any of these ones that are in gray, you don't need to worry about because the well does not have those issues. So a very targeted way of cleaning up your data. And from any of these, of course, you can go back into uh, Petrel to go and fix it from in Petrel. So you can do show in tree and it'll show you across here or you can pick it up and go into the spreadsheet or the settings or whichever is relevant for what you want to clean up. Like that. These are also stackable, so we can choose a particular audited error by a particular user or by a particular time frame or whatever. And if we turn off that, we can also do things like we can go in and we can look at the well top quality, for example, across all of our wells, across all of our projects, or we can go and look at GWL quality. Uh, sorry, I need to turn off the filters. And here we see we have our GWLs across all of the qualities across all of our projects, a histogram of them. So if we pick the ones that have low GWL quality and then go and choose uh, when the projects were last up, 
updated, we can see that there only is one project and it's quite old on it. Turn off that one and let's go and have a look at well quality, the ones with have got poor quality and go back to last updated. And here we see that we have one, two, three, four, five projects over on the right hand side showing. But if we trim these down to the old ones, we see that we have two projects that have both poor well quality and are very old. These may be targeted as something to take offline. Very, very powerful tool combining Find, Indexer, along with Rock Tools. Thank you.